Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today we have something super special. This is probably gonna be one of the quickest cars I have ever featured on this channel. This right behind me is an APR Stage 3 RS3 saloon running over 700 brake. Now as you can imagine, there had, well, there's an endless list of stuff which has been done to this car. So I'll introduce you to Dan, the owner, very shortly. We'll run through the car before we go out and see what it's like on the road. But before we do that, I'm proudly teaming up again with BOTB to give you guys the opportunity to win an RS3 like this one. Let me explain. For just £2.90, you can be in with a chance of winning an apt RS3 worth over £60,000. You only have to be 17 or over to enter, and as always, there's a chance to win an extra 20 k in cash in the boot. However, BOTB have now launched a new midweek competition, so there's now two guaranteed winners each week. If you don't fancy the RS3, there's still over 150 cars on offer, with tickets starting from just 85p. Weekly competitions end at midnight each Sunday, and you can, of course, follow the links below to learn more. Entering it takes just a few moments, from choosing your tickets to then guessing the correct coordinates in the Spot the Ball minigame. From there, finalise the order in the checkout and keep those fingers crossed. As always, a big thanks goes to BOTB for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's crack on. So yes, like I mentioned, this thing is running over a 700 brake. Now I've experienced some RS3s before, some pretty quick ones, but definitely not one which is running anywhere near this power. And of course, there's only one person who can, well, accurately describe what has been done to the car, and that is, of course, the owner. So if I swing it around, Dan, welcome Hi. to the channel. Thank Hi, you very much for, uh, well, giving me the opportunity to film this absolute beast. So if you don't mind, if you can remember everything that you've done to it, <laughs> run around it and, uh, well, tell us all because it's uh, a pretty fascinating build. So it's an APR Stage 3 tuned RS3. It's running a SRM Turbo and I can go through the list through... Yeah, why not? I guess well. I should have a look at the car whilst we're doing it. Um, actually, yeah, should we have a look underneath the bonnet so we yeah, can give people an idea about what's been done to it? Uh, but to be fair, I think the colour scheme, like I was saying to you off camera, the grey with the black and the yellow details here and there, it looks stunning, so, so clean. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, <laughs> where do we start so, under here? <laughs> as you can see, it's running an integrated engineering intake, and that's going through into an even Eventuri turbo inlet pipe. It's running an SRM throttle body. It's also running an AWE exhaust. Zetatronics, I think I pronounced that right, <laughs> please forgive me if I haven't. Um, ethanol indicator, which obviously then tells me what my ethanol content is for race fuel. It's also running uh, an SRM downpipe and it's also got an APR intercooler which you can see through there. Yep, right at the bottom. More yellow details. <laughs> so when you're running high power in these cars, it, the DSG oil sort of sprays all over the engine bay. So I've managed to sort that out by getting an iROS Motorsport DSG oil catcher, which is a catch cam which obviously then catches that, mm -hmm. which is just a, like a cosmetic mod. Um, I'm also running new speed RSC 102 wheels, which are 9.8 kilos a corner. So obviously then that helps the performance as well. I've stripped the vehicle as well, um, which is running. <laughs> Have a look at that in there. Sparco seats, which is the original seats are roughly about 20 kilos a corner, and these are six kilos. Oh wow. And I've completely removed the back out. <laughs> <laughs> look at this in there. Yeah. Man. I'm also it's running proper. <laughs> an SRM low pressure fuel pump as well yep. because there's um, issues with fueling on this when you're running higher power. Mm -hmm. I'm also on a lightweight battery, which is just something that's just purely. Oh, crud, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's when you know it's serious. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> it's purely for weight loss. I think I've more or less covered it. Uh, yep. Did I mention the AW8 exhaust? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. brakes. Oh, and brakes are just the standard brakes. So all I've done is just coloured them 
Um, yeah, oh, okay. But the standard eight pot calipers, which seem to be at the moment doing quite well. I mm -hmm. do want to upgrade the discs eventually, but yeah. they're starting to get a bit worn at the moment. Mm. But um, that is about it. Yeah, a long list. list. Yeah. A very, long very list. long list. And obviously there's a few cosmetic bits like the low line kit. Yeah. I imagine it's sat on springs and everything as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, correct. So it's on the MSS adjustable springs. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, it's uh, dropped about 30 mil approximately. So it's not too low, but it's just sort of makes it a bit more rigid, mm. basically. There's actually one more thing which I want to show the guys, and that is the steering wheel, which I think you did quite recently, right? Yeah, literally uh, a week ago. Look at that. Awesome. Very, very cool. So you can see there's definitely a theme of, of yellow and gray. Um, but yeah, look at these seats. Actually, when we <laughs> when we first met up this morning and I opened the door, I thought, crikey, I didn't realise I had bucket seats as well. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's it, yeah. Literally stripped a luxury vehicle into a yeah. race car. So what kind of times are we looking at? Because, well, obviously so, with this much power. Yeah, at the moment I've done a draggy, so it's not an official slip, but complete street setup. So my Michelin PS4 tyres and the wheels is on now and I've done a quarter mile in 9.96 which is on E85 fuel yeah so on pump I haven't really quite clarified it yet but I think it's running 10.3 seconds right uh, I've had an official 10.4 but haven't had much time to do it just due yeah. to weather and, and obviously not being in Mexico <laughs> yeah to be fair the weather today might yeah. be a bit of an issue because yeah. well we've been kind of dodging the showers but uh but anyway, hopefully that gives you guys an idea about how much of a beast this thing is. So I think we'll shut the bonnet, start it up, and uh, well, go and see what it's like on the road. Perfect. Clever sales on that one, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you basically went stage by stage. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, literally. So yeah, no, I went. Stri sorry, I went straight from stage two, then onto stage three. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I suppose stage one nowadays is basically just an easy tune. Yeah, so correct. easy to do. But now, bang for buck is pretty good. So I think these mm. get up to 490 brake mm. from 400. So it's an actual 90 brake difference just from the map, basically. Yeah. Yeah.
and when it's on race fuel is 713 brake and that's 500, 560 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> yeah, so, but the torque is capped because obviously it's a stock block. Eventually yeah. we are going to build the engine, do mm -hmm. the rods, do the pistons, do the bearings. And I, there is a file that will be approximately 800 wheel horsepower. Trying to keep things close to my chest at the moment, but yeah, yeah. 800 wheel horsepower, and that's keeping the turbo I've got that's really so with the SRM GTX 35. It's, it's a capable hybrid turbo, you know what yeah, I mean? It's a, yeah. it's a really, really, yeah, really good. So, you kind of read my mind a bit there because I was going to ask you for future plans. Well, then, yeah, you go. <laughs> so that's basically it. So, I don't really want to go too mental, but I'm going to keep the same turbo, just build the block one for security, and two, I can increase the torque yeah. and brake horsepower. Yeah, but um, it's, it's a safe map as it is like yeah. it's safe as stage three can go and there's a lot of people that obviously are worried about stage threes mm -hmm. um with putting rods through the block and it has been known um but um yeah it's a touch wood hasn't yeah happened to any i suppose you're at the stage where there's not really much more you can do <laughs> yeah with, with bolt-ons i'm at basically the full capacity yeah with the end the stop block basically mm. so um I'm sure you can put a bit more torque into it, but it's just best not to. And it's performing well on the pack on the, the figures I've got at the moment. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's definitely. And it was always about safety, I guess. It, when you're doing this much, yeah, you don't want to go for pure power. Yeah, if it's going to yeah. blow up in a thousand miles. <laughs> yeah, that, that is the case. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't really want to be putting a rod through the, the block. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit of a mess. Yeah, yeah. Things up for today. I think my mind has completely just been boggled by those 
as well to controls. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Until tomorrow.